Tomato. 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 Hey, tomato. Tomato. Hello. 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 And we're very happy to check out something a little bit different than Jakarta. Come with us guys, we're going to explore Bogor. Right now, we're actually going to go and look for some breakfast. It's relatively early for us in the morning right now. Let's go and get some food and explore this city. Preparations seem to be well underway for Indonesia Independence Day coming on the 17th of August. Both of us are going to be in Jakarta for that, so we're very excited. But first impressions of Bogor, this place is very different to Jakarta, a lot more laid back. We've actually found ourselves a shopping mall and I think we're gonna go inside and see what we can get. Maybe a nice strong cup of coffee. BTM mall. We're in desperate need of an iced coffee and yeah. a breakfast. I'm so hungry, oh my God. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. In the mall, we found ourselves a Solaria, and Solaria is one of the chains that we really, really enjoy. We tend to go there like, uh, we tend to go there, I wanna say every other day uh, when we're not filming a video, for example, when we're just staying at home working, we usually go to Solaria. And um, we just walked 1.3 kilometers from the train station to the BTM mall. We could have taken public transport, but we decided to walk and we're so sweaty. I feel like it's even hotter here than it was in Jakarta. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it has to do something with elevation change or something like that, but I am already completely drenched in sweat. I think if we want to go to the next destination, we definitely have to take like a taxi or like public transport or something like that because I'm not gonna survive. <laughs> Start things off with a nice ice coffee. Uh, this is actually really interesting because they gave us the coffee with the ice and then down at the bottom you had like a, some sort of a syrup now I'm not too sure what exactly that syrup was but came with a spoon so you could just sort of mix and blend it all together cheers guys let's try this coffee oh that's fantastic very refreshing and it's exactly what we need very excited now for some food I went with a dish today that I've never tried before, which is the bihun goreng sapi. Now, sapi is beef. Bihun goreng is a fried noodle, and I believe it's uh, bihun because of a special way of preparing the fried noodle. So it's not necessarily just a normal mi goreng or something like that. Um, I believe it has something to do with vermicelli noodles, but I'm not 100% on that part but i never tried it before so i'm just gonna give it a try um, without adding the chili sauce without adding any sambal or anything like that beforehand cheers mm. oh, yeah. okay, special have a look at this this looks incredible there's a lot of food actually on this plate they really don't skimp on the portions. Oh yeah, that is perfection right there. After that beautiful food, we walked over to the local market and it seems to be a little bit of a green market. Let me turn you guys around. And uh, yeah, we have loads of very, very interesting vegetables. Very interesting vegetables all over, as you can see. A lot of uh, bok choy some really nice looking herbs, cauliflower. Uh, a lot of the things actually, I don't really know what they are, like this one here. For example, I don't really, I'm not too sure what it is, uh, but I'm sure you can get a lot of really, really good stuff here, like some fresh ginger, for example, nice onions, some dried fish and so on. Uh, yeah, so really, really cool to see, cool to be here and get a little bit of a taste of the local um, yeah culture i want to say Hi. hello okay. <laughs> this place is uh watch out watch out we made our way to the bazaar <laughs> as you can probably tell and this place is pretty crazy hello hello <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks like you can pretty much buy anything that you might need for cooking. There's also some chicken and so on available, some turmeric, 
Uh, yeah, definitely looks hey, good. Tomato. I am. Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> Tomat. Tomat mera. <laughs> Red tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, bustling and we have we have no kitchen. Tidak Tidak Dapur. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I would really like to know what this is. What do you do with that? I am not sure, but this market is fantastic. People are so friendly, so open, everybody's smiling. Like everywhere that we've gone so far in Indonesia, this place is fantastic. Yeah. I love it. And that nasi goreng, I forgot to say, it really hit the spot. So feeling nice and full. And now we definitely need to walk and explore Bogor. We also have to check into our accommodation soon. This market is really something else. It's really amazing. Funny. So much fresh produce and you can really see what type of stuff the locals. This is a great way to sort of see the, the local side of life, I guess, in Bogor. It's funny to hear the market screamers just behind you. There was like everybody yeah. going abada, 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 abada. <laughs> I'm not really sure what they're saying, but it sounds really funny. Everybody on top. Hello. Wow, wow, wow. It's a uh, overload for the senses. A lot of uh, scents in the air, a lot of people, a lot of people screaming and so on. So this is great. Oh, I see a huge banana seller Hello. there in the back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, some snake fruit. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Enak, enak, enak. Enak, 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 enak. Wow, you guys, if we had a kitchen anywhere close by, unfortunately, our accommodation doesn't have a kitchen, so it doesn't really make sense for us to buy vegetables. But if we had, I would have just done our weekly shopping on that market. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so much variety of vegetables and meat and so on. So yeah, it was really, really cool to just walk through and sort of get in touch with the locals for the first time here in Bogor. And uh, yeah, I think right now we might head over to the botanical garden because we still have some time to spare before we can check in. I believe it's another like one and a half hours or so, right? Yeah, we have plenty of time to explore. And one of the first things that pops up when you look up what exactly to do in Bogor is the botanical garden so let's go and check it out and see what it has to offer we walked past it i think when we just got off the train and from the outside in it looks spectacular hello hello satu satu oh pulu oh sepulu one. Ah, satu, yeah, yeah, one. Jadi jero 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 warna tu. What is this? Oh no, sugar. Um, what is the the name? Name? Eh, yeah. ketan. Ketan puli. Ketan bakar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ah. Yeah. Hot hot. Panis. Hot panis. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Terima kasih. Thank you, yo. <laughs> Sampai jumpa. Yo. <laughs> Ketan bakar, and he, uh, it's very hot, it's actually difficult to hold. And he put uh, some sort of a sugar mixture. Hello. Uh, he put some sort of a sugar mixture on top and it looked like it was a little bit mixed maybe with sesame or something like that. One second, I'm just trying to put away the money. It's so hot, I can't, can you hold it for a second? It's so yeah. hot. Oh my god. Oh my god, uh, it is really hot. <laughs> it's burning through the paper. <laughs> oh, it smells really interesting. It smells like toast. Yeah, it smells like, I want to say, Hello. Maybe you can have a look. Show, 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 show. So this sort of looks like it's uh, sugar with um, maybe some cinnamon, some sesame or something like that in there. Mm. And it's so hot. It smells um, coconutty. Coconutty. Smell. It smells like shredded coconut. Oh. It smells interesting. Sort of like a bounty bar. Yeah, it smells like a bounty chocolate bar, which I don't know. I don't know if they actually sell bounties here, but it looks yeah, it looks very hot. It doesn't look only very hot. It is also very hot. <laughs> mm, crunchy. Crunchy. Oh. Huh. What is it? It's very nice, but I don't know what it is. I want to say it's like rice flour, coconut sugar, <clears throat> cinnamon. Huh? There's something savory in there as well. Something savory in there? Something uh, salty, something garam. Oh, okay. Try I'll a little a bite. Try. Careful, all of the stuff oh, is gonna fall out. it's us. so hot. This is crazy hot. Wow. It's nice. 
but difficult to identify. Very difficult. I don't know. <laughs> Try to explain the taste. <laughs> Very different. It tastes like um, really compact white rice yeah. with like um, sugar, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Something coconutty. I don't know something, what it is. <laughs> something coconut is in there as well. I cannot believe how hot it is. I literally, I can barely like touch it with my fingers without burning my fingers. But it is um, extremely unique taste. We've been walking around now just like through through that crazy market area and there's a lot of people selling different street food. I walk past the sellers of this um, a few times. You see them kind of just sitting on um, like an open grill and I was so curious from the first second that I saw it. It's very interesting, super unique and only 10,000 rupees. 10,000 so. rupees, so I want to say maybe about like 70 cents, 70 cents. 60 cents, 70 cents, something really, like that. Really, really affordable uh, street snack. Let's go check out the botanical garden. And it's also going to fill you cool. up, like it's very, yeah. very compact, very dense. Just one bite and I feel like um, it's expanding in my stomach, it's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the botanical gardens. Well guys, welcome inside the botanical gardens of Bogor. Very interesting. We came inside and uh, walking around <laughs> with the camera. And um, definitely, if you are planning on coming here, be well aware that you are very close to a couple of government buildings. So you will not be permitted, of course, to film certain areas. But this place is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of really interesting looking plants and greenery around here and it's very peaceful, very tranquil, very sort of a laid back vibe going on here. It's fantastic just to get the, the smell of all the flowers and the, the extra kick of oxygen that you need as well. This is really beautiful. Have a look at these. It's like a little ocean of lilies and then you have massive very old trees everywhere everywhere around bogor actually we saw many very old massive trees and um yeah this botanical garden is very very cool and super affordable as well how much was it we paid 15,500 Indonesian rupees uh, for weekdays, Monday to Friday. I think on the weekend it's a little bit more, but not a lot. So it's like just about a euro per person. And uh, what I definitely wanted to add is that it's a nice change uh, with Jakarta, because obviously Jakarta is a huge, huge city and there's so many cars and a lot of smog, unfortunately, that comes with the amount of people and the cars. So it's really nice to just be uh, in a botanical garden in a little bit of a smaller city where you feel like you can uh, breathe again. And today, it's not so sunny either so even though like it's really really hot but it's not super sunny um, so it's nice to just walk around in the fresh air a little bit we all of a sudden found ourselves in taman mexico and it literally does feel like we're in north or central america very cool you've got agave cacti whole bunch of different plants also smells like we're back in mexico <laughs> <laughs> we've been in mexico i don't know two years ago we were in Mexico around roughly two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Crazy. We spent about like four and a half months, I think five months, yep. all over Mexico. It was really cool. Yeah, that's this actually... This tree so nice. That's actually... That's what drew us to come here because we saw Taman, Mexico, and we were like, that means Mexican park. And we were like, we have, we have to check that out. We're very glad we did. It's very cool. Wow, look at this colorful house, yellow and blue house. It does look like somewhere in Oaxaca or something like that yeah. in Mexico. We can even make some mezcal here. Oh, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's make, make some mezcal. mezcal. Never expected this to be in Bogor, in Indonesia. Very cool. Take some pictures and pretend we're in Mexico to confuse people. That would be yeah, funny yeah. for social media. Take some Instagram pictures and be like, we're in Mexico. I took a picture of the map at the entrance of this botanical garden and I actually verified if we are really supposed to cross this bridge. And yes, we are really supposed to cross this bridge. So let's go on an adventure. Looks like a super interesting bridge. Maximum 10 people. Let's see. There's some two other people. Do you think we're too too big? Well, we're like four people. We're like four, like we're like six. Probably, yeah, eight. six Indonesians. <laughs> <laughs> so we are. We might be okay with ten people then. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
looks like they're currently constructing a new bridge over there which is like shiny bright red but it doesn't seem to be open yet because there's like no thingies to stop you from falling into the river so I think they're still constructing this one and this one here seems to be the little bit uh, older one but I think it might have been uh, bright red once upon a time as well which yep. is a little scary to think about <laughs> <laughs> Cool views though with this river here. This is actually one of the nicest botanical gardens that we've ever visited. And I'm not just saying that for this video. This is gorgeous. Pristinely clean, very tranquil. A lot of people are just riding around on like electric bikes, which is really nice because there's literally no noise pollution. Other than a little bit every now and then from like the roads outside but the plants that you can see here are really crazy. The trees are massive, the majority of them. And you have such a mixture and combination of different things here. So like you have trees from Central America, North America, South America, the tropics, a couple of ones that I saw that were African, crazy, Mediterranean, pretty much every climate that you can think of is right here. They have a tree for it and uh, they have a plant for it as well but really, really cool. And this is actually, we were not expecting to see many tourists, but I've seen a few around the botanical gardens. So that'll tell you something. This place is popular for a reason. It's beautiful. The botanical gardens are really, really vast and very expansive. And we thought as always that we could do it by foot. Um, but we've been walking for a very long time and it's quite humid and hot outside. So uh, yeah. I think you cannot do it all by foot. Um, I believe at the entrance, I saw a lot of people sort of on these electric scooters and these like little beach buggy type of uh, vehicles. So I think that you can rent some sort of vehicles around the park as well. And I would very highly recommend you guys to do that if you ever do come here, because we're currently like suffering a little bit. We already walked, uh, I just looked there, we already walked over eight kilometers just today. So yeah, just to give you an idea how vast this place actually is. It's very big. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> German. Ule. German. <laughs> Your name is? Simbi. Ule. Ule. Oh, Bule. Yanto. Yanto. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Ule. Ule. Yeah. Nah, come on, his name is not Ule. Hello. Come on, Nama. Nama, come on. Ule. Ule. And you? Come on. 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 You have motto. Yeah, you have motto. How old are you? How old are they? I have no idea. I asked, but uh, I, I can only say 10 years. I can only say Sepulu Tahun. Sepulu. Umarmu. Umarmu Tahun? No, I don't know how to say it. Sebelas tahun. Sebelas tahun. Well, maybe I was right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe ten years. Eleven tahun. Aku tujuh tahun. High five. Aku. Oh. Ada konto. Oh. Ada konto. Sepuluh tahun. Bye bye. Kamu okay. ada konto. Sampai jumpa lagi. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> they came from everywhere. They just came from everywhere. First there was like one child, two children, something like that, and then all of a sudden there was like thirty. Really cute though. I think they were all around like 10 years old yeah. uh, and sort of doing their exercises and playing in the streets. Really cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think everybody is a little bit shocked that we're walking down their street. Hello. <laughs> I look, there they are again. <laughs> bye bye. bye. <laughs> she already like drives an electric motorcycle with like 10 years old. Yeah. Oh, there's another child coming. Oh my God. She's also young. Oh, that was nearly a crash. <laughs> okay, so we just checked into our accommodation. We're going to be spending one night here in Bogor. And wow, this accommodation is very special. 
and something that we definitely have to shout out because to be honest very pleasantly surprised just have a look at this we have a swimming pool this believe it or not is our room which i'm going to show you guys now in a sec but just have a look at how gorgeous this area is right here um just really something else and the price point of this is what is going to actually blow you away so we for one night in this place spent 10 euro which i'm not too sure what it is in rupia but incredible value this is 167,000 rupia for one night that's amazing value for being in central bogor very close to the center of bogor you have a swimming pool we have a private bathroom and we have a beautiful room so i'm going to show you guys the room now this is our room beautiful light massive amounts of natural light coming in here with an amazing view onto these gorgeous plants now obviously you have a wall here but that's really not any issue whatsoever i think this makes you kind of feel like you're sleeping in a rainforest of some sorts nice big double bed we have uh, an ac which is something that is very rarely included in such a good price point so we do have fully working ac there which is amazing to have especially when it's really hot out like it is today and we have a private bathroom as well which is insane i really thought that when i was um booking this place one second it's a little bit dark outside um i really thought when i was booking this place that we were gonna have to share a bathroom but that is not the case at all have a look at this amazing shower kind of a wet room situation toilet sink plug in the bathroom as well which is great and there's me this is perfect and uh, the host of this hostel also invited us tonight for a free meditation indonesia style uh, or java style i'm not too sure what it's called but she already said it's completely for free um we're probably going to do it on the rooftop if the group is relatively small if not we're going to do it outside together with the community uh which i think is super super beautiful and also this area like the area what did you that you saw with all of the children we're on the same street so we're just sort of down the road a little bit uh, it seems to be a very lively area so yeah very beautiful super impressed Luke is really like, <laughs> Luke did an amazing job. <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we got lucky, I think. Crazy. There's a, it's in a very local area as well, which is perfect for us. Usually the areas that we try and go to will be typically um, as local as possible and a nice price point. And that's exactly what we have managed to find with this place. Really blown away. The name of this place is Rion. So R I O N Hostel Bogor. Yes, it is a hostel as well. So you can rent um, a dorm room if that's something that you want. If you really want to spend way less money than what we're spending, we're only spending 10 euro. But if you want to spend less money, obviously you can go for a dorm room as well. So this place is amazing. Definitely, if you are visiting Bogor, check this place out.